In an effort to make sure everyone gets to play on the Rose Park Elementary playground, the school's PTA has been hard at work. Now, last year, the group won a one school at a time grant from Q2 to apply toward an inclusive playground. Now, since then, the PTA has raised more than $252,000. Now, for the final $50,000 push, the group has a new fundraising technique, as you can see, and it comes in the form of goats. Well, these unlikely guests visited 11 businesses in hopes of raising funds to ensure a poured rubber surface under the Rose Park playground. Thanks to a local petting zoo, Mavericks Mini Ark, uh, who lended us their goats today, we're doing a fundraiser for Every Child Plays Inclusive Playground Project. We are taking these little goats, this is one of them, this is Emma, around to businesses that were nominated via our Facebook page and businesses can either pay $20 to send us and the goats away or pay $50 to send us somewhere else. They're awesome. Now the school hopes to break ground and begin installation in May or June. For information on how to donate or how to nominate a business for a goat visit in mid-April, go to the Every Child Plays Facebook page. The Billings community has an opportunity tonight to hear firsthand about a difficult chapter of world history. Agnes Schwartz, a Holocaust survivor, will be sharing her story tonight at the West High School Auditorium beginning at 7 o'clock. Born in Budapest, Hungary in 1933, Agnes survived the Holocaust by hiding in the home of her Catholic nanny. She ended up being separated from her mother and father, only learning later that her mother died in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Her message, never again. Agnes thinks the Holocaust will not be forgotten to history as long as survivors are able to tell their stories. And she will be selling her memoir, A Roll of the Dice, at tonight's event. That speech tonight is free to the public. 